Hey, I'm here in the east side of Kanto sketching the places I visit. I want to add some new sketches of Lickitung to my collection. Cool, huh? Here they come now. <laughs> huh? <laughs> That's strange. Why don't the Lickitung like the apples in this area? Hmm, I'm not as experienced of a researcher as Professor Oak. So if we want to investigate, we'll need a little help. Let's call Ciara. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Ciara. Something weird is going on in this part of Kanto. Can you help us figure out what's wrong? I'll do my best. What's the problem? Lickitung won't lick the apples. But it doesn't make sense why they wouldn't. Is something wrong with the apples in this area? Is there something I don't know? Or... Whoa! Hold on! Your questions are great. You gotta write them down. That's the first step you have to take when you're investigating. You have to ask the tough questions, do your research, and then watch and learn, otherwise known as observe. So, now that you've got lots of questions about Lickitung's behavior, what are you planning to do about it? Well, I think we want to put our answers together and try to guess why the Lickitung won't lick the apples. You know, come up with a possible reason. Right on. That initial guess is called a hypothesis. It's what you're thinking, so make sure you write it as a complete sentence. Okay, so next you have to... Find out if it's true? You got it. You have to see if it's true by testing out the hypothesis. Yes, if we're going to do that, we should make a plan. Think about what steps we're going to take to test it out. In other words, you want to set up an experiment. Yeah! Now, I bet step four should be... Not so fast! When you plan your experiment, everything in your experiment has to be exactly the same, except the two things you're comparing. That's what scientists like to call controlling the variables. Oh, okay. That makes sense. If there were other differences in the experiment, there might be other reasons for what we see happening. You know it. You gotta be fair. And after you plan your experiment... I know I can do this. I promise we'll follow all the steps. Okay, you can do it. But don't forget to write down what you observed during your experiment. Every itty-bitty detail. Because you never know what's going to happen. And you also never know what you'll see that might help you come up with a conclusion. Yes, our final conclusion. That's how we see if our hypothesis was right. Exactly. And that's it. You're done. You know, when you investigate by following these steps, it's called the scientific method. Wow, that sounds official. Hey, you're conducting a real deal experiment. Now you go on and work that scientific method. Thanks a lot, Ciara. I can't wait. Good luck. Okay, we're now ready to investigate. Start with step one. I'll write down what we need to find out. Learn more about Lickitung behavior. Taste the apples here in this part of Kanto. Find out if anything unusual has happened in this area during the past month. And find out what other Pokemon are in this area. If you don't agree with something on my list, click on what you think isn't important to find out right now. Yeah. I guess it isn't important to find out what other Pokemon are in the area right now. Okay, how are we going to learn more about the Lickitung? You know, what they like and what they don't like. I know, the Pokedex. Lickitung, the licking Pokemon. Whenever Lickitung comes across something new, it will unfailingly give it a lick. It does so because it memorizes things by texture and by taste. It is somewhat put off by sour things. Hmm. What information here do you think is most important to our Apple mystery? Let me know by dragging the key phrase to my work pad. Yes, that's it. They don't like things that taste sour. I wonder how the apples taste around here. They're usually very sweet. Ah, they're sour. This is weird. I wonder if other weird things are happening around here. Let's check what the weather's been like. Wow, 
The weather was very weird here last week. Check the weather map. See? The weather in this area of Kanto is usually around 70 degrees. But do you see the day that looks really different? Click on it. Yeah! Can you believe it? Day 3, it was 32 degrees. That was a cold snap. I've got a hypothesis. How does this sound? The sudden cold weather on day three caused the apples in this area to turn sour. Let's test it out. Plan an experiment. We'll take two apple trees. We'll make it really cold around one tree, and we'll keep it warm around the other tree. And then we'll make sure everything else is exactly the same. That way, we'll know nothing else is influencing the results of our test. Now, where in Kanto can we do the experiment? I got it. I sketched a bunch of places. Let's see if any of the locations will work for this experiment. Drag and drop them to the flashing rectangles. That looks good to me. They're exactly the same. Now, how are we going to create a cold snap in one of the meadows? Ice! We can put blocks of ice around the tree in one of the meadows, and that will be the meadow with the cold climate. And then we'll put five Lickitung in that meadow. Let's see. If we put five Lickitung in the cold meadow, how many Lickitung do you think we should put in the warm meadow? Click on the number of Lickitung you think would be right in the warm meadow. Definitely! We need to have five Lickitung in the warm meadow, exactly the same number as in the cold meadow. Okay, let's start our experiment. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, and I just gave each Lickitung oranges. That's how we'll know all the Lickitung tasted the same thing at the same time, just before they go in the meadows. Okay, here's the next step in our experiment. This is the meadow with the cold climate. Let's observe the Lickitung. I'll take some notes. Did you see the Lickitung do any of these things? Click on what you saw. Now let's observe the Lickitung in the warm meadow. I'll take some more notes. Ready? Really different, huh? Did you see the Lickitung do any of these things? Click on what you saw. Okay, let's look at our data. It seems to me the Lickitung licked the apples that had turned sour from the cold weather. But the Lickitung in the warm weather loved the sweet apples. So, I'd say our hypothesis checks out. We can conclude these apples in this area turn sour in the cold weather, and that's why the Lickitung didn't like them. I don't know about you, but I feel like a real researcher now. Thanks so much for your help. I think you're ready to do your own investigation. You guys did a great job solving the apple mystery. Now I have a friend who has asked for your help. Pretty please with sugar on top. Help me. Well, they can't help you unless they can see you. Come out and show them what's wrong, Ada. I can't. Come on, Ada. They can handle it. Ah! <laughs> see, I told you. Come on, I was just kidding. It doesn't look that bad. It's horrible. My hair is green. you got to help me. I went swimming in the pool today, and then after, I put in conditioner like I normally would. And now it looks like this. So we have to figure out why her hair changed color. I mean, what's up with that green? I know pool chlorine can sometimes turn hair greenish. But this isn't greenish. This is straight up green. Is it possible the pool did this? Let's find out. Okay. What steps do we need to take to set up a complete experiment? What do we need to do? Stick to the steps of the scientific method. 
drag and drop the five parts of the scientific method from the list and put them into order. Yeah! 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 You got it! Great! Now that we have the scientific framework, let's fill it in with our experiment. Click and drag the lines into their proper place. But since no one likes to do extra work, make sure to choose only the things that would be most useful in our experiment. Yeah! You got it! You got it! Yeah! Yeah! You got it! You got it! Yeah! 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 Way to go! Now, let's look at the results and draw a conclusion. Hmm, it seems that chlorine mildly affects Ada's hair and tints it green. But whoa! The hair conditioner she used turned her hair bright green. I don't get it! I've used that hair conditioner every day for the past year. Hey guys, don't mind me, I'm just looking for my soccer fan face paint. What you up to? Ah, what happened to your hair, Ada? This conditioner. Hey, that's my green face paint. How did you find it? Oh, no. It was by the mirror where my hair conditioner usually is. Oh, then this is yours. I grabbed it by accident this morning instead of the face paint. Don't worry, it'll wash off in a few days. Then let's see how you'll like having green hair. If it's any consolation, my face is extra greasy. Well... Looks like the conclusion was just some confusion. Thanks for all your help. Ugh. Hey, that actually looks kind of cool on me. Hmm. We probably need to focus on this Pokemon and this area for now. The other Pokemon around here aren't really important for this investigation. Well, the Lickitung don't seem to like what they're tasting, huh? What piece of information would help support that observation? Hmm. If the temperature drops a couple degrees, I don't usually put on a sweater. I think small temperature changes probably wouldn't make a difference to the Pokemon either. It takes more than that. Remember, you want to keep things fair and equal, right? Try to find two meadows where there are no differences between them. I don't think that will make it cold very quickly. Hmm, we have to make sure everything in our experiment is exactly the same, except for the ice. So if we have five Lickitung in the cold meadow, click on how many we should put in the warm meadow. The Lickitung licked the apples, didn't like them, and were not happy. The Lickitung licked the apples, seemed to like them, and they were happy. Try again. Oops, not that one. <laughs>